So this is how you're gonna fulfill an order on your TikTok shop. Now you'll notice that on your homepage, it'll tell you when you have an order, it will pop up. Also, if you go to your orders tab and manage orders, you can check on all your orders, you can check on all your returns as well, and anything that's been shipped, anything that you need to ship, and any canceled orders, etc. right? Now you'll see here that if you click and hover over this, you can print the label directly. And that will allow you to print the label. It will also allow you to print the packing slip. You wanna take that label and take that packing slip and save it so that when the product shows up at your house, because again, you're ordering this product specifically to your house, then you're gonna use this label and this packing slip and ship it out to the customer, all right? If you click on the order number right here and you hover over it, it's clickable. That's gonna take you into the order. It's gonna tell you exactly who the buyer is, how much you made, the certain fees associated with the order. Obviously the customer information's blurred out here, but you can copy it if you need to. And anything else associated with this, right? So when was it ordered? When do you need to specifically ship it by? What's the status of the order, right? Is it awaiting processing? Is it awaiting collection? Has it been delivered? Is it in transit currently? And then obviously like what the payment method of the buyer is, et cetera, et cetera. So once you print that label out, then it's going to change from awaiting processing to awaiting carrier pickup. So as soon as your carrier, whether that's USPS that you chose, UPS that you chose, or FedEx that you chose, as soon as they scan it in, then it will turn into in transit. And so you need to hit these certain parameters by the set dates. It's not ridiculously hard. You just kind of have to be on top of it and you have to use suppliers that are gonna to deliver to you within two to three days so that you can then drop it back off and ship it out using the TikTok shop label, all right? It's very easy. It's dropship arbitrage in a nutshell. So again, when you got this order, depending on what this order was from, and again, you should only have like, five to 10 products in your TikTok shop at once. You should not have more than that. This is not a place where you can really do the volume approach and have a bunch of different listings because if you have a bunch of different listings, it's actually gonna be detrimental to you and it's not gonna make you look trustworthy. You only need a few different items that are all around the same niche and then use your TikTok page that's based in that niche to then push entertainment, tutorial videos, whatever, to grow that page around that niche so that then you can sprinkle in some product videos in there and get some buyers that way. That's the formula, that's how you do it. And so when you get this order, you'll be able to see under items what this actually is for. And then you just go to your supplier, be that Amazon or Walmart or wherever, order that product to you. And then when it comes to you, ship it out with the label and put the packing slip in the package.